If you want to motivate people to participate in your polls by introducing their opinions, then you can use the leaderboards feature the plugin offers. People may be more inclined to share their opinions or vote if they see that their votes matter. In order to find the leaderboards feature, we go to the general settings page, shortcodes tab and scroll down a little bit. Here is the global leaderboard setting shortcode. By inserting the shortcode on the front end, we can display the list of top users who passed any polls. There are some settings we need to configure, so let's discuss them. The first option is the shortcode itself. Here we can specify the from and to parts. The from part stands for the start date for the leaderboard and the to part stands for the end date. Then comes the users count option. By writing your desired number here, you can specify how many users' results you want to display on the front end. Then comes the width option. You can specify the width of leaderboard box. If you want to have 100% width for the leaderboard, you can leave this input blank. The next option is the users group by option. It has two checkboxes, ID and email. If you want to make the leaderboard for only logged in users, you can choose the ID option. By this, the results will be collected by WordPress user ID. If you want to make the leaderboard for guests as well, you can choose the email option. Please note that in case of choosing the email option, you need to enable the information form option for the poll and have the name and email fields in the active fields. By choosing the email option, the results will be grouped by emails and the guest names will be displayed. The next feature is the color option. You can configure the color of the leaderboard the way you want. The next option is the custom CSS option, with the help of which you can write your own CSS code and achieve your desired specific styling results. It's high time to see the leaderboard on the front end. For that, we copy the shortcode and paste it to our desired page or a post. As you can see, I have already inserted the shortcode here. As I don't want to specify the start date and the end date, I can remove this part like this and save the changes. Here is our leaderboard displayed on the front end. This shortcode includes the list of top users who passed any polls. As you can see, the table includes the position, name and attempts of the user. The next leaderboard we are going to discuss is the global leaderboard by category settings. By inserting the shortcode in your desired page or a post, you can display the list of top users who voted your post by poll category ID. As you can see, the options are the same, so we are not going to discuss them again. All we need to do is to correctly configure the shortcode. We need to change the your poll category ID part and insert the poll category ID we prefer. Also again for the from part we need to specify the start date and for the to part we need to specify the end date. In case you don't know how to find the your poll category ID, you need to scroll and go to the categories page. Here is the poll category ID. So, we can already check the shortcode, the leaderboard on the front end. For that, we copy the shortcode and paste it to our desired page or a post. Here is our shortcode displayed in our post. Again, as I, don't, as I don't want to specify the from and to parts, we can just remove them. All we need to do is to change the your poll category ID part with the poll category ID we prefer. In our case, it is 2. We can save the changes and see our leaderboard on the front end. Here is the leaderboard displayed on the front end. As you can see, the table columns are position, name and attempts. The short code has a pagination. You can decide how many entries you want to display. Also, you can perform a search within the table. Besides all these features, you can also order your leaderboard in a way you prefer. You can order them by position name and attempts. And the last leaderboard we are going to discuss is the user leaderboard position settings. This shortcode displays the leaderboard position of the current user. Please note that this shortcode works with the global leaderboard setting shortcode options. 
To display the current user's leaderboard position, we just need to copy the shortcode and paste it to our desired page or a post. I have already inserted the shortcode in our post, so we save the changes to see the shortcode on the frontend. As you can see, the current user has the first leaderboard position. That's all, we have discussed all the leaderboard types the PollMaker plugin provides.